Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anupriya Goyal and today I'm going to talk about how to treat dry skin. Stay tuned till the end of the video as I'm going to give some nutritional tips and some tips how to make homemade packs to combat dry skin. Before I touch up on the topic that why we get dry skin, let me tell you about some basic signs of our skin. Our superficial most layer of the skin is known as epidermis. This contains 30% of water. When the water content of our epidermis becomes less than 10%, it leads to dry skin. This decrease in water content of our skin can cause sloughing of cells, which can lead to flaky, itchy, dull and lusterless skin. People may not just experience dry skin in winters, but they can even experience it in summers. There are various reasons for which you can experience dry skin in summers. They are due to decrease in humidity or increase in temperature. It can be due to exposure to sunlight for long hours, due to exposure to pollution and to dry winds during summers. Exposure to air conditioner indoors for long, long hours. Decrease in water intake, increase in caffeine, smoking, washing your face a lot of times with harsh chemicals and going to the pool and getting exposed to chlorinated water multiple number of times all these causes can cause dry skin. Dry skin can also be due to various skin conditions like atopic dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis, ichthyosis and xerosis and it can also be due to systemic disorder like hypothyroidism. Your skin naturally produces an oil called sebum which keeps your skin hydrated. When your skin is not able to produce this sebum, then it can become dry. Also, our skin contains various factors like NMF or natural moisturizing factor, which are natural humectants of our skin. They absorb water and maintain the water level of the skin. Our skin also contains a lipid bilayer or a lipid barrier which protects our skin. When our skin is exposed to pollutants, drugs or stress, then it can damage this barrier and decrease the water content and hence lead to dry skin. The most important and a very obvious step to treat your dry skin is to moisturize. It is an absolute no-brainer. If you've got dry skin, just apply moisturizer to your skin. However, there are various key ingredients and additives in a moisturizer, which include occlusives, humectants, emollients and rejuvenators. Now, occlusives help in sealing in the moisture. The various occlusives are petroleum jelly and mineral oil. Second, humectants. They absorb moisture from the environment, which include honey, hyaluronic acid and glycerin. Third, emollients. They lubricate your skin and improve your skin softness. Example, jojoba oil, shea butter, cocoa butter and beeswax. And fourth, rejuvenators. Well, I'll be talking about rejuvenators in another video on how to get glassy skin. So do watch that video to know more about rejuvenators. So basically, a good moisturizer not just lubricates your skin, but it also helps in absorbing moisture from the environment and it also traps in the moisture in your skin. Therefore, always use a moisturizer after you take a bath or wash your face so that your skin is a little moist when you apply the moisturizer. This helps in trapping in the moisture in your skin. Second, use a mild face wash. It is obviously better to use a mild face wash which is hypoallergenic, preservative free and fragrance free. Do not use a face wash more than two times a day and do not use hot water if you have dry skin. Third, use a humidifier. In this scorching heat, as we all are sitting indoors and we have constantly running air conditioners, if you have dry skin and you want to retain that moisture in your skin, you can use a humidifier because all these air conditioners, they remove the moisture off from your skin. This is especially advisable for infants and for babies and for people who have sensitive skin. Always use a sunscreen before you step out in the sun. The UV rays not only damage your skin, but they also rip off the moisture from your skin. Drink at least six to eight glasses of water and limit caffeine intake as caffeine is a dehydrator. You can even make your own detox water at home. That is, water infused with antioxidants. Take a bottle of water, add some slices of cucumber, pudina and lemon. Take this bottle of water with you every day to work and make sure you finish the bottle before the day ends. This is the easiest way of having water rich in antioxidants. 
You can make a mix of avocado and honey. Avocados are rich in antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids and honey has soothing properties and is also very moisturizing. When a mix of both is made, this helps in reducing your wrinkles and it also hydrates your skin significantly. However, avocados are expensive and not very easily available in the market. So, one very good alternative for this is using raw milk on your face. It significantly helps in soothing out and treating dry skin. Milk contains lactic acid which helps in exfoliating your skin and it also moisturizes dry skin. When applied at night, alternate days, it significantly helps in moisturizing your skin. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any queries, you can leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel for frequent updates. You can even follow us on Instagram at Dr. Anupriya Goel and at Berkowitz Clinic. Stay healthy and stay beautiful. Thank you.